Well, Trucker Dave, the curse of the Doba might still be here. So since the last time we spoke on Dale, I had mentioned about EFI, Electronic Fuel Injection, and installing either a Phytech or a Holly kit on the truck. And you guys in the comments of my videos came out and told me what you thought and that's exactly what I wanted. Some of you said go with Holly all the way because they've perfected it, their fuel pumps are quieter, less quality control issues. Some of you said, yes, I have Phytech and I really, really love them, other than the loud fuel pumps. Others have said, don't do it because it defeats what you're going for on the truck and that is old school kind of hot rodding or old school look and everything to do with this truck. To everybody who commented, thank you. I still haven't made up my mind. Um, as I said in that previous video, I did apply for sponsorship through both Phytech and Holly to hopefully maybe get something done on the truck at some point. If I decide not to go that route on the truck, well, maybe we can use that setup on the old Chrysler. So if this is your first time tuning into my channel, I have a 79 Chrysler Cordoba with a mildly built 360 engine that I just put a new carburetor on and I'll put that video right here so you guys can go back and look at it. But maybe that EFI system needs to go on that and the brand new carb has to be coming back over here to Dale and get this truck working A1. Right now we're probably at about 95% on the way it works. We've got that lock up torque converter fine tuned, we've got that TV cable just set at the right spot now so that it's shifting where I want it to. Um, the air fuel mixture seems to be working properly. The problem is, is that the idle consistently changes almost on a daily basis. One day it'll be working perfect. The next day when you go to shut it off, it wants the diesel because it's idling a little bit too high. One person uh, in my comments also suggested that we get rid of the Edelbrock and we go back to the old Quadra Bog, the Quadra Jet Carburetor, maybe rebuild it and make it work on Dale. There's only a slight, I don't want to say problem, but there's only a slight issue with that and that is, I don't know much about carburetors. There are lots of videos out there, I've been watching a lot of them and I think that I'm getting a little bit of confidence back that I might attempt to do a rebuild on the Quadrajet. The reason is, is because they were rated stock at 750 CFM and 800 CFM. Now mine, I believe, is just a 750. So we're going to get a little more CFM into that engine, let it breathe a little bit better. So that'll work well with that RPM intake as well as the bigger valves on the heads that I've put on this truck. Is that over carburation? I don't know. But stock, Chevrolet or GM felt that those 750 CFM Quadrajets were perfect for what they were using of the day. Now they weren't high horsepower, they weren't a lot of torque, but nevertheless, that's what they felt worked. So why wouldn't it work today on a little bit of a performance engine? So another thing that I want you guys to think about uh, is something that I am considering because I came across a 5.3 liter engine, an LS motor, for a really, really good price. And I'll be able to get the accessories and the wiring and all that stuff as a potential power plant for a vehicle at some point in time. Could it be Dale? Yes, it could be. Uh, would you guys like to see that? Let me know in the comments down below. As a winter project, maybe it's time we do an LS swap on Old Dale. I wanted to hold off on doing that right from the very beginning because of cost. And I know that I have to change fuel systems. I know that I've got to get computers. And I know that there's lots of this different stuff involved in doing LS swaps because I've watched several of them uh, on different channels. And it might be time and it might be the right winter project for Dale is to get this thing set up with a 5.3. Um, 
in the meantime, I'm going to get the motor anyways, whether we use it on Dale or we use it on a future project. The price is right. I can't pass it up. But again, um, everyone seems to be doing LS swaps on everything. Uh, I understand exactly why, because it's quick, reliable power on whatever it is you're installing it in. People are putting these things in everything. Where does an LS belong? Well, it belongs in a 99 and up Chevrolet or GMC truck. Does it belong in a square body? A lot of people seem to think so, and I'm leaning that way. Not that I don't like the engine setup that's in this truck right now, but I'm really getting tired of having to deal with this carburetor situation. Maybe we'll solve it with the Quadrajet, and if I do, I'm gonna continue driving it this summer and hopefully um, not have any more issues. But in the meantime, it's something to think about. I'm buying the LS no matter what. So whether you guys wanna see it in Dale or not, that's up to you guys. If you want to, leave. let me know down in the comments. Um, people are gonna say, well, you know, Jason, it's your build, you do what you want. But if it's something you guys wanna see, on my channel, then I want to do it. Uh, if you don't, then I won't bother. Uh, we'll find something else to put it in. Maybe maybe the old Chrysler needs an LS. No, <laughs> I, I wouldn't do that. Anyways, so that's all this video was going to be today, was talking about the carburetor issue. Um, we're slowly working away at it, and I think if we do decide that we're going to upgrade to the, uh, imagine that, upgrade from an Edelbrock to a Quadrajet, but if we are going to upgrade to that, then uh, we're going to have to rebuild the quad um, which is uh, something I've never done. I've never had one of these apart. Uh, and we'll swap it around uh, for the Edelbrock and see if the problem that I have goes away. So I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. And I also hope that you guys enjoyed the season premiere of the Car Guy and Six Fan Show last Thursday evening. Uh, we had a really good time with uh, Grant Tommy, who is straight Six Fan. And we talked a little bit about the new Bronco uh, and Broncos of the past. Um, do you guys like them? Let me know down in the comment section what you think of the new 2021 Bronco and even the little one, I forget what they're calling it. But um, the Car Guy and Six Fan Show next week is going to be on Grant Tommy's channel. Uh, we do have a special guest lined up and we've got lots of guests coming uh, for season four. I hope you can tune in on Thursday evenings at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, and 9 Atlantic. And uh, we go live. Car Guys talking cars. I hope you can join us. I've also got the call out there still for the Submit Your Ride Challenge. If you have a ride, a fancy ride, an old beater or something you're proud of, I want a two minute video that explains everything you've done to it and send it in to me and I'll feature it on one of my videos. So having said all that, that is it for this video guys. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.